Hey everybody, today we're going to look at five different iPad chord chart apps for worship leaders and worship teams. Alright, let's get straight to the apps. Our five chord chart apps are Music Stand, Music Stand, yes that's two different apps, Four Score, Songbook Pro, and Pia Score. Alright, let's check them out. Okay, let's start with the two Music Stand apps. So we have Music Stand for Planning Center and Music Stand for the Planner and Worship Tools. Both of these are service planning programs. You're probably more familiar with Planning Center, but they have very, very similar functionality. So first up, we have the Music Stand for Planning Center. So if your church uses Planning Center uh, for your services, this is a great app. So it basically, you do all this in, in Planning Center itself, not in this app. And then it'll have your services. You select whatever service you've been scheduled for will show up in this app. And select the service, and then the service will show up here. These things in blue are the songs. And you can hit this drop down to uh, access any files that the person who planned had put on that song. Click on it, and it brings up the chord chart and its own set list and you can scroll through everything in that week's plan. You can also play up here in this play button any files like backing tracks or just reference files that the person that planned the service entered. It's a great app. I, I use it. Um, I really like it. It's There's not a lot of customization in this app itself. Most of that is done in Planning Center itself. All right, let's go to the second music stand. So this is for the worship tools uh, suite of resources. Very similar concept. And you can select light or dark mode in each. I just had the previous one in dark mode and this one's in light mode right now. So same idea, here's all your upcoming services. I haven't made any yet. Here's a sample service they've given us so we can load that. It'll bring up the set list, very similar to the other one. There's all our songs. Um, just like Planning Center, this supports chord profiles, which is what these are, or PDFs. You have some basic notations here. You have a performance video or the file that the person you planned loaded, so you know it's there. And that's, I mean, that's basically it. Again, not a lot in this app itself. You do most of the work in the Planner app for Worship Tools. But both of those music stand apps work very well if you use that particular planning service. All right, now let's go to the next two. This is Fourscore and Pia Score. These are both very similar apps in that they're both made for sheet music, but can also work for chord charts and for PDFs. So let's start with Fourscore. So Fourscore and Pia Score have very similar functionality. And when I got it for score was $10, now it's $20 and doesn't have a whole lot more functionality than the free version of PS score. And even the full version of PS score is only $5. So I have a hard time recommending for score nowadays, unless there's a specific functionality you find in for score that isn't in PS score, but it's got great sorting options. I will give it that as better sorting options than most of the others. Um, you can sort by genre, tags, labels. So if I go into any song, I get and list all of those things. Labels, tags, reference, rating, difficulty. So as far as sorting is concerned, this is, this is the top dog of the five. So if you really need to sort a huge catalog by tags and things like that, this is probably the way to go. That might be where it's worth that extra $20. Then you can add them to a set list. Um, there you have all your set lists. Here, I have way too many set lists. This is the app I primarily use. Pretty standard. You can have a Bluetooth pedal, etc. You add scores here. You can scan it. You can use the camera. You can buy them. You can uh, download them from cloud services, however you get them. It does, again, have a lot of things. You can go through piano record. I actually do have a whole video that I already made on the channel about this app, so if you want more details, go check out that video. But that's the basics of it. It's basically just a really well-organized and um, annotatable PDF chord chart app. So let's go to PS Score, which is a very similar app. Here's my songs, all scores, set list, downloads. You can see 
You don't have nearly as many sorting options on this title artist. You can put tags, but they're not nearly as extensive as four scores are. So this is the free version. And often free versions are basically just trials where you can't do a whole lot. This is a fully usable, very powerful app in the free version, which I wildly respect. So thank you, PS Score, for that. You made an actual free version that's a usable app. And most of the things you need to update for aren't necessary. There are things you might want, like being able to take a picture of a score and use it. That's like a premium feature, which I would probably upgrade for that because I do that more often than I probably should right before service starts when I've forgotten a chord sheet. But basic functionality and even some advanced functionality is all there in the free app. You can see there's my list um, of charts. There's my set list. I haven't made any yet. Download. This is how you get them. You can. There's also tons of free classical music you can download, which is really cool. Um, there's a store. Cloud is where I get them from. Like you store them on Google Drive and download them there. Um, and then you can see the camera capture with that lock. So that's one of the premium features. This is very similar to Fourscore. Open it up. Um, and it's got tons of annotation options here. You can adjust the page. You got info, performance, that's performance mode, so it won't, these won't come up anymore. And then writing, there's your annotations. You can select sizes, you got stamps you can put on there, and brackets and pencil icon. You can annotate to your heart's content there. So tons of stuff you can do in here, all in the free version. So if you just need a PDF, Chord Chart app, I highly recommend PS Score. Finally, here we have Songbook Pro. Now, Songbook Pro's biggest strength is it does Chord Pro, and it does Chord Pro very well. And you can edit the Chord Pros in here. So if I click Edit on this song, you can see it brings up the actual Chord Pro. I can change anything I need in chords and such. And then, of course, the benefit of Chord Pro is that you can change the key on the fly. So you can see I changed the key. This also has a, a bunch of great settings where you can change everything. I, again, I did a full video on this app that you should go check out if you want more details. Um, organization is just basic, N not not much with the tag. I don't think it has any tags. Um, you can just sort by artists and stuff. So it's not huge on the organization. You can make set list, which is the most important thing really for most people. Um, the settings are fantastic. You can make the charts look however you want to. And this has a secret weapon this little play button, if you click on that, click on pad backing tracks, your first time you'll have to download them for completely free backing tracks. It comes with free ambient pads for your song and we'll play them in the key of the song and we'll fade them between songs into different keys automatically when you change charts. It's amazing. Again, I did a video on this app, but that is a completely free uh, functionality of this app. The pads are free and it will change pads for you with the chord sheets. That's so cool. This app itself is $5.99 when I bought it and it's well worth the money. So I also highly recommend Songbook Pro. So as you saw there, Music Stand and Music Stand are very similar apps just for different services. Music Stand for Planning Center and Music Stand for Worship Tools. Then you have PS Score and Fourscore, also very similar. They're built for sheet music, but work very well for PDF chord charts. Although PS Score has a little better functionality in the free version. Then finally you have Songbook Pro. That one focuses, or at least I use it to focus on Chord Pro charts. And of course has that amazing built-in pad functionality. Hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments which of these you like the best or if you use any of them. Or maybe you use a different one like OnSong or Chart Builder for multi-tracks. Let me know what you use and if you like it or not. See you next time.